morning. We are over near Washington Square Park. We are looking for some coffee. Um, it's bright and early. It's actually not. It's like 1130. We had breakfast at home first and got ready. Did my hair really quick. It's warm out. It's really warm out. No, it doesn't wild. even have a jacket on. I do have a jacket because I have like a thin shirt on and I'm worried I'll get too cold. But we are looking for a coffee real quick and think we're going to go over to Washington Square Park. And as long as it's not too busy, I think we're going to sit there and have our coffee and just see where the day takes us. Like, I'm getting Dunkin'. We got Noah's coffee. This says, oh, feel good about your coffee. Social project. Where's it? So Noah got Think Coffee. He just got an oat milk latte. Um, it was a very New York coffee shop that we found where... No sweetener. No sweetener, no sugars. Um, I don't even think they would have decaf on the menu. It literally just said like, iced latte, iced coffee, hot coffee drip coffee americano i wanted to do a local coffee shop guys i tried um <laughs> but no sweetener around christmas i need my gingerbread my peppermint mocha there's only a few more weeks so i can have that so here in washington square park i got my decaf ice peppermint mocha latte with oat milk really good um, i wish i had soy milk i just personally think soy milk is so creamy and yummy but you know, they didn't have it, so that's okay. So we're just gonna hang out here and drink our coffee for a little bit. It's actually pretty busy. It's pretty lively, but oh my goodness. Oh, little pups everywhere. Look! <laughs> little. Um, but one thing I really like is I feel like it seems like everyone has their masks on. Everyone's keeping their distance. Like, literally no one's sitting near us. So while it is still lively and definitely not dead, it still uh, feels really safe and social distance, which is nice. You'd like it, try it. I like this one. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh it's my good. Gosh. Babe, that is just straight sugar. That's a bag of sugar. That's what I want. Oof. That's what we want. Oof. Sitting in the park looking at photos of dogs, <laughs> and we decided to look up Angry Chihuahua because one walked past us. I love this song. Now, stop it once again. I'll turn to a friend. What you understand See through my master plan When everybody's gone And up Oh, oh, yeah maybe I'll see you at a movie I'll stick the preview You show up, you walk by On the arm of that guy And I'll smile and you wave all right, we're waiting for our train, patiently. Uh, we missed our first stop. Well, we took the wrong one, and then we missed the stop. So clearly, we're still New York noobs. <laughs> Very much so. But we walked around the station for like 30 minutes <laughs> until we figured out where we're supposed to go. Now we're trying to find some rats, little pets. I do look for the rats at the subway. I just want to see them. I'm just curious to see them a little scurrying around, but there are none. Uh, but we're heading uptown. To Bua Thai, where we were at last weekend because it was so good. Gotta get my Penang curry. Oh, it looks so much better in person. I wish you guys could see it. I wish you were here. Can you see it this way? Oh, beautiful cotton candy skies. It was really nice to sit outside at that restaurant, especially since they only allow a few people to like eat outside. Indoor dining is, I believe indoor dining is now, is closed in New York. Um, but while we were sitting outside there, there were two situations completely opposite that I, I wish I could like snuck and vlog them, but not bold enough for that. There was a very obnoxious one and a very sweet one. So the obnoxious one, I'll tell you first. So these two girls sitting there, they had to be like young college aged. And one girl was sitting there politely just eating her food. And you could tell she was just like staring at her food, kind of uncomfortable the whole time. And her other friend was just tearing apart everyone they knew. It's like she had a roster of each person in their life. And she was like, yeah, so I hate this girl. I hate her so much. She's so ugly. And her voice is so obnoxious. And then she, the other girl would be like, yeah, I get what you're saying. Like just trying not to engage in it. And then she'd be like, oh, and so-and-so is so slow. Every time she opens her mouth, I can't, I can't stand what comes out of it. She called someone the R word. And Noah and I both just like stopped for a minute. Like, haven't we like grown at past that? Haven't we grown past that word? 
it, it was just kind of hard to listen to the whole time to the point of like while we're eating it's just like you don't want to listen but you have to listen and she was just so rude about everyone in her life complaining about all of the food that she got and the food there is great best place i've ever eaten in my life highly recommend and they're so kind and friendly when you tell them that you need gluten-free they're super super like accommodative um but she was just mean-spirited and i try to remind myself when people are like that it usually comes from an insecure insecurity but she was i don't know how to explain it i don't want to list everything off but she must have literally just had a name like a list of 30 people in her head where she went and like said every single thing she hated about each person it was just a non-stop mean girl gossip session it really made me remember what it's like to be in friendships like that and you know the girl sitting with her has got to be thinking the whole time like why am i hanging out with you and two what do you say about me when i'm not around because when someone talks that badly about their other friends, you know they talk about everyone else. And then there was, so there was a guy to our right, like kind of in the corner and we could also hear him. And it was so cute. He just seemed like he was in a good mood. He was just hanging out, eating by himself. And I wondered what was going on. I kind of wondered if he was like waiting on someone or if he was, you know, someone ditched him, but he was in a good mood, just eating by himself. And it took a while for her like the waitress that we had same waitress as ours she was super super cute really shy and kind but really good at her job and a really nice girl um it took a while for her to bring his check is what i'm assuming because she came back and was like i'm so so sorry i've taken so long with your check and he was like and he was like no no it's okay and then as he's like getting ready to leave he turns to her and he's like uh what time do you get off tonight and you could tell she got really nervous or uncomfortable and she was like oh the restaurant closes at 10. and he's like no no what time do you get off and she's like, uh, I get off at 10. He's like, sorry, Ruth's just eating a bone. And he said, I'd love to take you out sometime. Do you, would you like to get dinner or drink tonight? And she's like, oh, yeah, yeah, that'd be nice. That'd be really nice. And the thing is, they were both beautiful. Gorgeous guy, gorgeous girl. So I'm like, this is so cute. They're both just adorable and cute. And I just, uh, I loved it. I like I was watching the beginning of a Hallmark movie. Um, and she's like, I don't, I don't have a phone on me right now. Uh, I can go get it. And he's like, oh, I can just write it down. And she's like, yeah, write, yeah, write it on your, on the check. And so he like wrote his number down. And then as he left, she, he like waved to her and she was like, bye. It was so cute. And no and I were both wondering like, oh, what, but is she actually interested? Is she going to get the check? Cause he left it on the table with this number. And for a little while, she didn't go to the table. She kept talking to other people, refilling their drinks. She came to our table. I'm just watching the check. Like go get it, <laughs> get it, it's got his number. And then right before we left, she walked over, grabbed it and like folded it up and put it in her back pocket. <laughs> I want updates. It was like Gossip Girl to my left, New York City romance Christmas movie to my right. Wow, the true New York experience. The sunset though. I think we're just gonna hang out for a little bit longer. Noah's playing his guitar right now, just kind of de-stressing from the day and relaxing a little bit we're thinking we're gonna head to bryant park the christmas market i've seen every new york youtuber ever going to it every single year including this year and they all say it looks pretty safe so i do want to check it out we were supposed to go last weekend and we were just so exhausted so we made sure today to not do a ton that way we're not too tired tonight so we can at least go and check it out and just see what <laughs> uh, here is my otd i changed because my outfit well i just changed my top because I don't have a mask on it inside. My previous shirt was a little thin, so I put on this one. And it's so cute. I forgot I had it. It's from like last, two winters ago in Ohio. And I pulled it back out. It's really cute. Same jeans from Abercrombie. Nice and stretchy from all the food we ate, which I love. And I got my beanie. This actually has one of those. It's like a removable little puff ball. But I realized I don't like the puff balls on top of my head anymore. So I think I like it better without. And I got my tennis shoes from Zara. Oh, and always... My warm puffy coat. No colds getting through this. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Noah, you need gloves. Get your gloves. I don't know where they are. They're in your top drawer. I think they're at work. They're in your top drawer. I put them in there. You sure about that? Get them out of the top drawer. Every, every single time we go somewhere at night and it's cold, he complains about his hands being cold every single night. His hands are freezing. I don't get that cold. I don't know what it is. He gets so cold. I think it's the pockets of this are just so warm. This jacket's just the best. He just gets really, really cold, um, and I always feel bad. And I got him gloves, and he doesn't wear them. Did you find them? I found them. Oh yeah, gloves. I'll put mine on too. Should I wear a hat too? Yes. We could be a matching. Yes. Okay. Let's get festive. Ooh, we're getting festive. Okay, sorry, that was so weird. We made it to Brian. 
Grand Park. Uh, we were nervous it was going to be super crowded because there was some crowds on the way here, but it's actually really not that bad. I definitely think we can stay pretty distant, but we're going to walk through all the little shops. It's called the Winter Village. Maybe get some hot chocolate, maybe a little snack. pretty quickly we walked by and looked at all the shops we did grab some apple cider donuts out. Noah saw them and was like he, get he needed them I got myself an apple cider <laughs> All right, we are already back home, but it's actually only 7 p.m. on the dot. It feels so much later, but it's only 7. So we are in for the rest of the evening. Gonna snuggle the pups, get the rest of our stuff done for the weekend, whatever else we need to do. Spend some time together, and I'm gonna go ahead and get started on editing my weekend videos, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.